Let's take a look at how we can use some construction geometry to improve our sketches. Now, right here on the screen, you can see we've got a whole bunch of dimensions here. And we do have a fully defined document. So there's nothing wrong with what I have here on the screen. It just looks messy. And there's a whole bunch of duplicates. Look on the left hand side here. You can see I've got a one inch dimension. I've got the same thing right here on the other side, right? Same thing over here, I got 2 inch dimension. 2 inch dimension over here. Let's see if we can improve a little this. By using some construction geometry. So the first thing I'm going to do. Is delete everything on the side over here. So let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of this. Okay, down here at the bottom of the screen. Notice we are not symmetrical, right? We have the origin here on this left corner. We prefer to have it right in the middle. So let's go ahead and delete that relationship too. And now what I want to do is I want to grab some center lines. So I'm going to grab a line from here to there, place that in there. So that's going to automatically use this one inch dimension for both of those because we have the horizontal relationship right here. Then let's go ahead and tie in again if we're already in that line command or the center line command, let's tie in from the midpoint here to the midpoint there. Pretty handy. Infert let's come all the way down to here. And then tie in over here. So, I've got a couple of things. And I could say this line here and this line up here. Let's hold that control and say these guys are equal, right? And what that means is that I don't really need this dimension anymore. Okay? 2 inch and 2 inch. Get rid of the second one. Why type the same dimension twice? If we know it's exactly the same same thing over here. Get rid of that one. Let's just say, this line here, hold down control. This line, this line and this line, these guys are all going to be equal. Okay? Over here, let's grab that whole sketch now. And make the midpoint of this point here. Hold down control, select that line. Say, make midpoint. Now you can see that it's looking a little bit cleaner. And it's a little bit more robust. Infert if I wanted to change something like. This dimension here to something like 3.0. Notice, everything automatically grows. It stays in the center. Way nicer than just the way we had it before. Over here 1 inch, 1 inch, redundant again. Let's get rid of that, right? Let's say this circle here, hold down control. This circle right over here. And let's make them equal, all right. So if I change one, type 1.5, they both change. If I change it back to one, they both change. If I change this back to two, everything adjusts and looks pretty good. Okay, so over here this dimension is pretty much needed, right? We need to tell how tall it is in the section here. And this 2 inch dimension here is also pretty much needed. We do need to specify how far we're off this edge here. But in this case it happens to be the same distance. From this line here to this line. What I could do is delete that. And I could make one more little center line here. And that center line is from here over to here, right? And I could just go ahead and create one more. From here down to the midpoint there. So I could say hey, this line and that line, those guys are going to be equal. Which automatically establishes. And now I've got really only these four dimensions. To define the entire shape. So now you can see my sketch is just a lot cleaner. It's a lot more dynamic. And if I change one thing. A lot of other things follow along. So I'm only changing one of those items. Versus changing multiple things. With all the same dimension, all right. So if we have two holes and they're both one inch, why change it two places? When you can just change it just one place. Indistinct, they're both fully defined sketches. What we started with in the beginning and what we have now are both fully defined. This sketch though is just a lot more robust. So definitely keep this in mind when you're working and designing in sketches. Use some of those relationships. Use some of those things like symmetry in your design. So that you're doing less work that's better work. In the long run.